This is going to be a hard video to make. I've seen before people doing challenges of them making music without being able to hear it. So today, I'll be doing the same thing. My goal is to record drums, bass, guitar, and vocals. I'm not even going to attempt keyboard because if I can't hear it, I for some reason don't know where anything is. So let's get into it. So I have my Apollo twin turned all the way down. I'm going to go ahead and leave the volume on for you guys so you can hear. Let's use the good old Google to just pick a random tempo. 137 beats per minute. I can't even think of how fast 137 is. All right, let's try it. Oh, I'm off. I'm way off. I looked down for one second and know that I got off. All right, I'm sure that sounds wonderful. I'm sure everything was perfectly in time and no one has to worry about anything. All right, so I'm gonna record bass now, and I'm actually going to mute the drums. I'm gonna kind of just record each instrument separate, and then we'll do a big reveal at the end. I find that I can't look away from the metronome like one second or else I just lose the time. Another interesting thing is that when I'm picking up presets to use for this, obviously I can't hear anything. So I'm kind of just hoping that I don't pick a bad preset. Like I don't know what that sounds like, but I hope it's good. All right, let's record the other one. I should probably record like a guitar melody as well. What pedals do we have on this board? I probably should have looked at that too. So I've been getting very experimental with my guitars lately. For this guitar, I've tied a rubber band around all the strings just to give it a very muted feel. I don't actually know how it sounds recorded yet. I haven't really made the time to try anything more than just putting rubber bands on the strings. So let's try it out here. Again, I don't know what any of these presets sound like. So I just realized I never switched the screen back, so apologies for that. I can say, as we're almost finished with this, I feel like I started with a certain rhythm in mind, and the rhythm that I'm playing kind of has nothing to do with the original beat and feel of the song. I'm not going to go back and record the drums because I just want to see where we end up, but I guess it's time to do vocals. And that means I need to write some words. Before anyone says anything, yes, I am ripping off the lyrics from Dear Prudence by the Beatles. Right now, I don't have all day to make a video, unfortunately. Sometimes we do these things on our lunch break from our job. I'm just going with a preset. I think maybe the vintage vocal preset. If I remember correctly, I think that one's a little more aggressive. But I'm also going to put a slapback tape on it and a little bit of reverb. Yes, I know it is a cardinal sin to put delay and reverb directly on the vocal channel, but I'm also making music without hearing it. Isn't that a cardinal sin? <laughs> All right, let's try to record vocals. The sun is up, sky is blue. It's wonderful, I feel brand new. I feel brand new. Wow, that was not good, I don't think. <laughs> So we're going to double track that because whenever I try to hide up my 
insecurities as a singer, I double track it. The sun is up, the sky is blue, it's wonderful, I feel brand new, I feel brand new. Should I, I should record harmonies. I mean, if we're gonna make something bad, we might as well make it the worst it could be. The sun is up, the sky is blue, it's wonderful, I feel renewed, I feel brand new. All right, so I muted the output and I just mixed it. Uh, it's really hard to mix things when you're using your eyes instead of your ears. I've been training myself to use my ears for so long that using my eyes made no sense. Uh, I didn't know where any levels or anything like that should be. I'm not gonna lie guys, I have not felt this nervous in a video in a while. <laughs> I just know that this is gonna sound really bad. Let's see what I was able to make without hearing the song. The song. I'm kind of impressed with the vocals though. Those felt like they were relatively in time. I think the drums was definitely one of the worst. I'm actually gonna listen to the drums themselves just to hear how bad I was out of time. I'm no expert, but that was pretty out of time. <laughs> Man, I have not been that nervous to make a video for a while now. That felt incredibly vulnerable and it felt weird, but that's part of the beautiful, I guess, undertone lesson of the video. That sure, it can be extremely uncomfortable to create things, especially when we don't know what we're doing, but to, I guess, at least have the confidence of putting it out into the world because even for a goofy video where obviously we all know that the song is gonna sound bad without hearing it there's still a part of me that's like no don't show anyone this like why are you doing this and we put too much emphasis on ourselves to be good at something and to be perfect at something when that's just not the reality. I encourage you to try something like this. Maybe you could show your friends because it is a funny thing to do, but just don't forget to laugh once in a while when you're creating. We can put so much pressure on ourselves. Don't forget to have fun with it. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this disaster. If you liked it and want to see me make more continuous disasters, I hope you consider subscribing, but I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.